도치카의 정통 엘란 Once upon a time, Lotus was planning a new sports car to return it to its roots. It would be lightweight, rear-wheel drive with a trusty Toyota engine. I can hear you shouting at your screen. Wait, that's the Lotus Elise. Uh, nope. The Elise was actually the second time Lotus gave that a try. Actually, Lotus had initially planned this kind of car in the 1980s, back when Toyota still had a stake in the company. But Lotus got sold off and GM scooped it up. The Toyota engine became an Isuzu one and rear-wheel drive became efficient, cutting-edge front-wheel drive. Sadly though, this was stupid. Because Lotus is, well, Lotus, the car, called the Elan, was a joy to drive. But GM's orders had produced a car nobody really wanted to own. So, after making around only 3,800 cars, Lotus managed to hand off the car in its entirety to Kia, which was still an upstart back then. In 1996, the Kia Elan was born. The only differences between it and its Lotus twin on the exterior were the taillights and the badges. More importantly, the turbocharged Isuzu engine was taken out and replaced with a naturally aspirated Kia engine, badged with speedy phrases like ultra power and high sprint. Ironically, it was less powerful, dropping from 162 to 151 horsepower. So in the process of becoming a Kia, the Elan somehow became even less of an attractive buy. Only a thousand of them ended up selling, roughly one gazillionth of the many Miatas sold. So that's that, but there's a lesson we can learn from it. Even a front wheel drive Lotus Elan, rebadged and sold as a Kia, made sense to somebody, sometime, somewhere. Just maybe not now. <laughs>